Good morning, everyone. A warm welcome from your sister Christy Diaz to the devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let us begin with our prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you asking for the forgiveness of all my sins and that you cleanse me with your precious blood so that this prayer may be received in your holy throne as I come before you this morning, thanking you, O Lord, for your unfailing love. Thank you for also having blessed us with love through our parents, siblings, spouses, friends, children, and so on. But praise you, O Lord, because your love is greater. As humans, our love can falter at one point, our words can hurt, and sometimes we simply cannot comprehend each other. And that is why your love is incomparable and unfailing. Your word says that there is no variation or shadow of turning in you, O Father of lights, that you cannot lie, that you are faithful and true. And that is why we can completely trust your words and believe that your promises will be fulfilled. We can rest knowing that your love is steady and strong. O oh God, let us be forever thankful for the gift of your love. Your love is tender, but also powerful to transform us. So fill us with your love, dear Lord, so that we may be vessels in your hands that pour out goodness and kindness to everyone around, that they may know that we are your disciples, that they may see your love through us and your name be glorified in all. On this holy day, shower us with that blessed love, O Heavenly Father, and guide us in your perfect will. Because all of this I ask in Jesus' name, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Eternal Blessings. It was written by Eliudel Gonzalez and translated by Nelson Baides. This devotional comes from the book Mesa de Fe, page 226, and our biblical base is found in the second book of Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 18. So says the word of God. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of his holy word. Eternal blessings. In the heavenly mansions, there will be no more sadness or pain. For the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to living fountains of water. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will not be a cause for fear or concern because they can no longer die. Because they are equal to the angels and are children of God when they are children of the resurrection. There will be no wicked ones there to destroy or harm for nothing unclean will enter into it, or anything that commits abomination or lies, but only those that are written in the Lamb's book of life. The list of blessings is endless, but the greatest joy and most excellent benefit will be to enjoy the presence of God in all its fullness forever. In the presence of God, one can find in abundance everything that human beings need to be completely happy without lacking anything. If all the good things of this world were put together, they could not compete with the heavenly blessings. For the things that are seen are temporary, but the things that are not seen are eternal. Amen. May the Lord receive all honor and glory. And the line that really got to me was, but the greatest joy and most excellent benefit will be to enjoy the presence of God in all its fullness forever. 
because it made me think of all those times that God has allowed us to be in his presence, especially in church events when as the body of Christ, we have sought his presence and have experienced glorious moments and we don't even have words to express or explain what we have felt and we are just overflowing with tears of gratitude and an overwhelming profound feeling of joy and literally just greatness flooding our lives and to think that like in Job it says that those are the mere edges of his ways and how small a whisper we hear of him like in a recent devotional It said, how great is our God that these moments are just whispers and it's already so much for us. That's why that line was so amazing because although everything else that God has promised us is great, if these whispers of his presence here in this mortal life have been the best moments of our lives and we can't even imagine how much greater it's going to be in heaven and it is extremely exciting but also very serious because nothing unclean will enter and only those that are written in the lamb's book of life will be welcomed so we have to strive with all we have so that we can be participants of that glory. As I take this bread, as I drink this cup, I remember As I take my place at this altar now, I remember, I remember, remember the love.
working on some angel robes for a nativity scene, I was attaching some gold and white fabrics, and I was thinking how majestic and beautiful it looked. And in that moment, I thought, how much grander and amazing must everything be up there in heaven? Because like the devotional said, nothing in this world can compare with what waits for us in heaven. There is nothing greater than what God has offered to us through Christ our Savior. So it doesn't matter what price we may have to pay in this life, we will take up our crosses as faithful disciples with excitement and joy, following the path that has already been set with one glorious destination, life eternal with our Heavenly Father. Amen. O oh Lord, we want to be there with you, and we want to be part of that choir that sings the praises of your holy name forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be your name and receive all glory. And before finalizing this session, I kindly invite you to go over to our YouTube channel, SEC English Ministry, for our daily Bible readings where we can find the greatest promises and oh to know that it is the Most High who has offered them to us. So delight yourself in His Word today. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen. Let us wake in gratitude and walk in grace.